guys, welcome back to some more content on the channel. Today's video, we're gonna play some more Naruto Shindo Life, or well, should I say Shindo Life? Some people might be like, Oh my god, why is it Naruto? Uh, last time we made a video on this game was seven days ago, as you guys can see over here on this video. I said I would make a video on this game every day or every other day, and uh, lo and behold, it's been a week. Whoa! Some people have been killing me in the comments for these recent videos, <laughs> telling me, Oh, where the hell is Vector? He said he's gonna make the video, and blah 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 blah. And it's like, Guys, oh my god, I'm sorry, man. I've just been caught up in the other games, and this game well all right let's just dive into the game and i'll explain to you guys when we're in game all right so without further ado let's dive into this try to have some fun and pick up from where we last left off <laughs> on the video you're gonna get stuck with this madman in your room tonight locked in there bro so if you don't want that to happen then drop a like on the video I just want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel real quick and turn on those post notifications so you're notified of all my uploads all right guys so we're in game right we're gonna go into the edited character screen over here so just wanted to show you guys you take a look at the top left hand corner we have nine spins that was at zero i just got nine spins because of the daily reward but if i go into my bloodline you guys can see that i have pretty okay bloodlines i mean the main bloodlines that I think you guys might be like, oh, they're really good. Or these two in the left hand corner, which I think one of them is, is called Jar. It's basically a Jiraiya's bloodline, like the Toad Sage bloodline. And the second one is like the 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 dude on the motorcycle with the skeleton who's on fire. I, I don't know. I got these off camera. I got all these Genkai's, or what should I say, bloodlines off camera. And basically, if I go into the ability bag, you will see that, for example, the Ghost Karashi one is like a one out of two hundred chance to get. So I think that that's actually pretty good. But I don't know. Like I said, I have not been playing shindo life for like the past year you guys would know i know that you guys told me that the best bloodline is literally uh well let me just get out of here and get in game because it would be easier to use the in game menus to show you this all right boys so we're in game somebody's fighting it out in the middle of the town i don't really know why but i mean i guess we'll see how this battle goes so let's just zoom in and see what they do here all right this guy's not really doing much he's just like sandy okay he's summoning a jutsu somebody else is using a matara why is that guy facing <laughs> Yo, that guy decided to face me as if he was gonna attack me or something. Bro, focus on your fight, dog. Like, what are you doing? Yo, this man is getting clapped. Damn. Oh, wait a minute. I got caught up in the game juice. God damn it. Hold on a minute. Yo, what the hell? Hold on a minute, bro. Who's oh my god, bro? What are they doing? I somehow, some way I'm getting caught up in their juices. All right, I'm gonna let those guys fight it out. I'm not gonna, you know, be all up in that mess because uh one of them, if you guys look at the top right hand corner, is the god of fear and he's rank X1. So I'm not trying to, you know, get hit with that, to be honest with you. But all right, if I go into my mastery tab here on the menu and I type in Zeno Doki, whatever the heck this is called. Apparently, you guys tell me this is the best Genkai, or well, should I say, excuse me, bloodline in the game because apparently this thing does massive amounts of damage to bosses and stuff like that so i'm gonna try to spin for this but you guys know if you watched the last video you would see in the top left hand corner that i had 442 spins by the time that i ended up stopping i had 397 396 spins something around there i was basically like 380 or something probably right so i wanted to point that out because basically i got these bloodlines off camera again jar my whatever the heck I, hold on this is uh all right i'm gonna I'm just gonna look this up on the wiki because I forget their names because they have like really weird names. But I know one of them is like maybe Orochimaru's Genkai because it has to do with snakes, which is this one, the Crowbar one. But you guys can tell that I tried to max them all out, right? Because if you guys take a look over here at the last skill for each of these, it's level 1000 no matter where I go. But the thing is that for the Jiraiya Ramaya one, which is Jiraiya Genkai, the Toad Sage Genkai, I tried to keep going because it kept leveling up and I just gave up at 1351 because I'm like, bro, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna keep going. I'm sorry. Like, I don't really know where you get from maxing this out. Sometimes in this game, at least from what I last remember when I previously played it, you used to get certain rewards, like maybe like a new mode buff or a new thingy machigi when you max the bloodlines out. But I mean, the wiki for this game is kind of good, but bad at the same time, because for these Genkais, it said the max level skill, which was the last one, was like level 400 for each of them or 460. And as you can tell, every single one of them is level 1000. So what the heck, you know? All right, guys. So on the wiki, the J Ramaki, that is the first bloodline that we're going to showcase it's a rarity of one out of 170 and you can see the three moves that we have right here the first of which is gyro style stun pillar the second one is gyro style hair grab and the last one is gyro style mud toad bomb now, obviously we also have a mode but uh first things first let's unlock all these abilities and we're gonna go ahead and do our thing so we're gonna equip our mode as well so by the way this is why it kind of took me a little bit longer to uh push out a video for you guys because i had to you know afk grind this off camera for you guys and honestly i'm like in my 
mind debating what's the proper way to make videos for Shindo Life now because obviously I have so many Genkai's or well excuse me I keep saying Genkai's but bloodlines that I need to get through and why the hell is the moon moving that fast what in tarnation okay but yeah I have a lot of stuff to get through and honestly oh I could try to do the Forge Akuma boss again right oh no that's uh it spawns in an hour whoops all right whatever I tried that last video it was pretty cool so bosses legitimately are the best way to farm XP like a lot of you guys were telling me I thought it was still like the scroll missions but if you manage to find bosses that are up just do the bosses you'll gain like one to 200 levels if you're a low level uh bloodline or if your bloodline is low level if it's high level you'll definitely get like a good 50 i think 50 or so i think i was getting like on average between like 50 to 100 levels per boss kill, which is pretty pretty insane but yeah anyways i'm debating the best route to take and i don't know for this video i thought i'd just try this method where it's like i get four genkais that i've never you know had before that are new genkais or newish genkais that came out after i stopped playing the game and i you know record my reaction to them show you guys the genkai and then we'll do that until we go through like all the Genkai's and then we'll just do I don't know but I, I don't even know if I, I'll, I'll take this content path just spare with me I'm just trying to figure out what's the best approach to make Shindo live content but all right my first ability is going to be the stun pillar so we're gonna go ahead and activate our stun pillar here all right that seems like it's an AOE ability with like electric damage which is really really nice it wastes a lot of freaking chakra that's crazy next ability is the hair grab so nito jizu all right i don't know why this guy came out of nowhere but uh yo what's up boy what you want man what's up man you want to get caught up in a cool combo real quick bro you're him you're him ah i see yes i am him and i'll taste my ultimate jutsu ah I, I don't know what the hell he just did. I don't know what he's doing. I think man's just time stopped me, to be honest with you. And then he used like an Itachi Genjutsu move. I don't know. It's crazy. So <laughs> I actually showed you guys my last move, which is the Mud Toad Bomb. But I'm going to try to show it again on this because I'm pretty sure the Mud Toad Bomb might have AOE spread. But let's go ahead and check that out. So the Mud Toad Bomb, you go up, you shoot it down, and it doesn't have AOE spread. But oh my God, the hell was that? All right, kid, you know what? You want to attack me, kid? Oh my lord, yo. <laughs> So it seems that you're limited to just three when you use your V move, which is like the, the, the stun pillars, which is really, really cool though. I got to admit, that's really awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and charge up our chakra, go all the way. That guy looks really cool. And this is our form one of the Jar Jaramaya awakening. What the hell is this? This is crazy. Yo, we have like a 3D cloak and everything. Oh my God, dude. Our punches do. Whoa. Is this a busted Genkai or bloodline? Look at this, bro. Our punches do fire damage. Oh my Lord lord all right so let's go ahead and see our mode move so right mouse button oh gamakichi <laughs> at least it looked like gamakichi oh this guy also has toads too look at him oh he he also has it or not i thought he had it oh wait he does have it so how do you how do you summon him without going into into his mode kid i will mess you guys up boys you guys keep playing with me man so by holding c the user can activate the j ramaki mode which requires a bloodline level 400 that's a lie don't pay attention to the wiki but anyways when jaramaki's mode is activated the user spins a uh, or gains a black cloak that is red from the outside and a mask that covers your face the user's pose also changes so that the uh user crosses their hands the user speed is significantly boosted the user passively teleports every second in direction they are moving and their dash changes to a teleport interesting is that really true let's go ahead and start moving this way i'm not teleporting so i don't know if, oh what the hell bro can this guy relax dude kid you're really gonna make me kill you man damn oh my god my q yo my q is like another toad bro you have like crazy amounts of toads and stuff yo look at all these toads bro look at oh my lord the rasengans that you do and you know now that i'm thinking about it this might not even be jiraiya's genkai this could be jiraiya from boruto's genkai you know the mask man it kind of makes sense if that's the case but can this guy relax dude i'm not even trying to fight nobody man i'm just trying to check out my moves yeah but I really like the, the fact that you like emit fire when you punch somebody. That's like busted. So unfortunately, there's only one stage. I don't know if they plan to like add like more stages and stuff into the game later on but right now i'm just getting like hit by these guys for no apparent reason oh my lord bro i'm about to go into a private server because these guys are just like i'm not even trying to fight them i'm just trying to see my my freaking bloodlines all right i'm gonna go into a private server because these guys just don't get it like they really don't get it <laughs> like i'm all for messing around and fighting but when i'm trying to show something like just leave me alone bro anyway the genkai that we're gonna showcase next is the bloodline we're gonna showcase next is called Ka kanichi now I, I don't really know based off of the Name, this reminds me of basically this anime right here slash manga if you guys ever read this kanichi the mightiest disciple this was like one of the first animes i ever watched it was really 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 good there's obviously um, a lot of plot like i mean a lot of plot as you guys can see and yeah the the female uh main character very nice and, and more plot down here okay so anyways 
maybe this Genkai is based off of that because I know. Oh my god, I gotta stop, I gotta stop saying Genkai because it's Bloodlines now. But I know that the game went through a phase where they started adding like Bloodlines from a bunch of different animes. I don't know if they're still doing it now. Um, in the recent updates, but I hope that that's from that anime because again, to me, I really, really, that was like one of my first martial arts anime slash manga and I loved it. I loved it. I was like so fascinated by it and I definitely recommend it to you guys. If you guys haven't watched it before, I'm pretty sure you guys would love it as well. So guys, I wanted to show you, I don't know if the thing was glitched before, but I'm running around and I am passively teleporting now with the Jaramaki, whatever it's called. So yeah, this Genkai, I mean, excuse me, this bloodline is very cool. I like it. So I'm just making my way over to some training logs because I, I like being being in the training grounds when I check out this stuff. So, uh, you know, basically we're going to stay over here. All right. So first move is fist out dragon strike. So let's check that out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and press the V key here and it, it's more, Hmm. We did a kick, but I don't know if there's a follow up combo. Cause you know, we don't have any players to test it out on. We might have to go back to a pub server. The next move is called crane demon. The thing about this bloodline is that it doesn't use any chi. Instead, it uses your HP and your stamina. So uh, my next move, obviously on my B key, we're going to go ahead and use it. As you guys can see, what in tarnation. <laughs> wow, there's a 30 second cooldown on that move, but I'm not, I'm not knocking it. Like that move looked crazy. What the hell? So our next move is called Fist Style uh, Ultimate Tempo. So we'll put that on our N key and then we'll unlock our mode and also equip our mode as well. All right, guys. So our N key Jutsu, we're going to go ahead and use. And that actually looks, what the hell, boy? This is sick. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta go back to a pub, man. Hold on, because I'm pretty sure these moves are gonna look a lot different on actual players. So let's go ahead and do our thing here. All right, boys, we're in here. Uh, this is probably gonna be very tough because whoever I end up fighting or using these moves on is probably gonna end up fighting back, and it's just gonna be very annoying. Yo, let me let me ask this guy real quick. Let me ask him, yo, can I test some moves on you, bro? Can you can you put the Susano away, bro? All right, bro. Man, it's just disappeared on me. Is he a player or is he like an NPC? I don't know. Whatever, dude. Come here, kid. What the hell? All right, never mind. I just missed my move. I'm out of here. <laughs> never mind, bro. Never mind. It was a joke, bro. Damn, bro. All right, kid. You know what? You're pissing me off now, kid. You're pissing me off now, kid. Mm. Yo, that move, our end key move is amazing. All right. I, what I really need to check out is my... um. Yo, this man is missing every single move that he does. My V key jutsu. This nope. is the one I want. Damn. Yo, that thing is so hard to connect. All right, you know what? I'm going to check out my mode while I'm at it fighting against him so let's go ahead what the yo so maybe kenichi i don't know maybe yo we passively teleport in this mode as well as you guys can see look at this but yeah maybe kenichi is not from the anime that i mentioned maybe it just coincidental name because the way this looks is kind of like gates you know what i mean so i don't know it's kind of weird in a way now where's this guy at all right here we go 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 oh my god i i missed it. that move is so hard to pull off uh, maybe i'll try to pull it off on some npcs as opposed to a player let's see what my q spec is my q spec i don't know what the hell that is but it's like a hard i don't know whatever anyways uh what about i have no block oh yeah i have a mode move that's my mode move look at look at this boy <laughs> that is sick all right all right my v key here we go try to use it on these guys there we go the barrage of kicks there you go so that's my v key and i'm probably gonna get destroyed here not gonna cap how about you brother how about you brother you want to catch his hands you want to catch his hands brother you want to catch it you want to catch his hands brother all right whatever yeah i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm gonna i'm gonna oh actually i think i might have multiple modes hold on uh oh oh look i drank something oh it's like a drunken style now let's see if uh things change yeah so my um my mode move change and then my q move also changes that brings him in i don't know like, this guy keeps like joining in the server because that's this is the same guy that was attacking me before and he came back now i'm messing him up right now boys like not even capping like i'm messing this guy up anyways we're gonna go into our mode three do we have a mode three no we only have a mode one so yeah as you guys look in the wiki we can see that we have two stages to the mode now, i wasn't able to show you guys this that well but this is the q spec on the um the kenichi bloodline and this is basically the stage two attack it's like a tornado i thought it was like something else but you do a kick that turns like into a hurricane slash tornado type thing you see that pretty cool so i went back to a private server because this kid if you're watching this video bro you're annoying bro like i'm sorry but like just learn the difference when i'm fighting people and when i'm trying to move on to certain things like i know you guys always joke about like oh vex gets mad when people attack him this and that and blah, blah blah but it's like when i attack people it's because i'm trying to show you guys something and give you guys entertainment now when other people decide to attack me it's usually when i'm in the middle of trying to show you guys something else which is very annoying because i have a video to make <laughs> you know what i mean but yeah we're gonna go to a private server i'm just gonna 
gonna go ahead and try to find NPCs to check out my moves that really don't work well against the logs, but instead need to be used on a player, if you will. So the next Gankai slash ball line that we're gonna showcase is called Cobra. So the first move in the Cobra one is called Thunderlash. So we're gonna equip it to our V key. And I'm actually gonna go into my mode real quick so that I can just run around that much quicker and get to the training field over here. All right, guys. So my V key Jutsu, again, Thunderlash. Oh my Lord. What? That actually looked really sick, bro. What? Oh my God. Yeah, bro, I'm gonna use that again. Okay, so there's a boss over here called the Bankai Akuma for three minutes. Uh, I, I just came up here because I was down here and I looked up here and I'm like, there's a scroll up here. What the hell? So Bankai Akuma. I don't know. We'll try to check that thing out after we, we check out some of our moves again. But yeah, this um this move, our V move, like look at how nice that looks. That's crazy. All right, next move is Cobra style Cobra bind. So that's probably gonna bind everybody. So it's probably an AOE ability for like three. Okay, no, it's one person. It's a one person bind, but you know, it's a snake bind. So yeah. Last move is called Venom Pit. And then we're also gonna equip our mode. So let's go ahead and use Venom Pit. Hopefully that's AOE. Yeah, it is AOE. That looked pretty cool. I mean, the only move that I really, really like out of this uh, bloodline is by my, my Viki. Like, this is just beautiful. That's a very beautiful move. All right, mode time, baby. Let's get it. Uh, uh, what the hell did I just do? Nothing. I don't even gain effects on my stuff, dude. All right, my Q-Spec. My Q-Spec is like a, a snake thrust, and then I just like, look at that. Crazy part is there's no cooldown on this Q-Spec for some reason. All right, and then what about my mode spec? My mode spec, holy crud, bro. It's a bunch of snakes. Can I attack in this mode? I'm leaving like poison behind, bro, and I'm flying up into this guy. Am I pooping hey, yo, out the poison clouds or something, boy? <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. What the hell is this, man? Oh, this is crazy. So while the Cobra mode is active, right? The user's basic melee attacks are done by extending snakes out of their left hand, increasing their attack range and poisoning enemies upon hit. Now, additionally, if the user is knocked out, they will rise up from the ground in a coffin while instantly regaining 30% of their health. This ability is known as reanimation and has a five minute cooldown. That is actually sick. So let me check out. Yeah, it is true, guys. That's why the uh, the Q spec doesn't have a cooldown because you just automatically shoot snakes out of your hand. So this, uh, wow, this mode, I'm a really big fan of this one. This is really cool. I mean, the move, I only like the mode spec and then the V key, but like basic M1 combos. Oh yeah, this is this is like the uh, Jeremiah thingy me that, that this is really good. All right, so finally but not least, the last move or Genkai slash bloodline that we're gonna showcase is called the Ghost Karashi. Now this one has a one out of two hundred rarity, so it's by far the rarest uh, bloodline that we've gotten so far. And the first move is called Motor Slam. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Damn, motor Slam. Son. We get out a motorcycle. We can hold it down and everything. We can actually go around. Oh, I just love my bike. Okay, so I guess we can drive around with the bike so basically i've read up the wiki let's see if it works though but you gain a speed boost when you're in here you throw out flame and then when you hit the person look they get binded with chains so it, it's a very like quick succession with this attack but i mean <laughs> it looks pretty cool you get to ride a freaking motorcycle all right next one is called motor meteor all right let's see how this looks but i'll be better boot motor meteor what do we oh dude what the what the hell oh my god is that a stun move too basically everything you ride the motorcycle on and then it's like a stun so far yeah it says after a few seconds, the user flies into the air with the motorcycle and dives down towards the direction of the cursor. Upon impact with the environment, the motorcycle disappears and causes several spear tip chains to rise out from the ground nearby, dealing damage to enemies within the area multiple times. If the user has Ghost Karashi's mode activated while they are riding the motorcycle, their melee attacks will stun enemies by wrapping them in chains. So, since we didn't have our mode active, it didn't really activate, uh, if you will. But last up is Motor Implode, and then obviously we're going to equip our mode as well. So, let's press the N key here. Oh, this looks sick. Sick boy, look at that. And it does AoE damage while you run around too. That's actually, look, and it does, oh wow, we did an explosion at the end. I will say out of all the ones that we've uh, used, I think this one has the most practicality because you know, with the movement speed, the stun, the CC, the, the AoE, like it, it's, it's a more practical ability to use, especially if you're on the run and you're kiting enemies. Like, like bro, like you'll be able to do this hundred percent. Like who's gonna be quick enough to catch up to you on a freaking motorcycle that's on fire? boy like come on look at that it's crazy all right so let's go ahead and check out our mode now all right here we go here we go yo we became the ghost rider himself baby all right let's see our m1 specs yeah we attack with our chain as you guys can see pretty cool stuff q spec let's see all right q spec it's like you throw out a chain you latch onto the enemy and you go near them so it's kind of like a, a reverse get over here <laughs> all right we're gonna go ahead and block 
C, and that is my mode spec. Now, that seems to be a whiplash. Now, this is actually very OP because the C spec mode or the mode spec that we use, right, grabs the, the user in their chain, swings it in front of them, deals damage twice, and drains 2,500 MD from enemies hit by the chain, which is absolutely disgusting. Like, that's a lot of MD, bro. Like, with that MD, you'll basically be able to abuse this and make people pop themselves out of their mode, you know? So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this mode, and I'm going to go back to the Jiraiya thing and equip this one because i, I kind of miss showed you so basically apparently this move if you don't use it near enemies and stuff you'll use the stun pillars on yourself so and then it creates like a big stun pillar so i guess you can use that and then if anybody comes like into the stun pillar area like it, it'll actually stun them so that's actually really really nice but yeah you guys let me know which one you like the most in my personal opinion it's between the ghost karashi and the jara jaramaya or J J Jiraiya, whatever the whatever that freaking spec is called and then cobra is a solid third kenichi is last kenichi is cool but i don't know i just feel like it wasn't as like oh as like the other ones so but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um sorry that it took so long i'll try to make the videos a little bit quicker on this game but again for the time being we're just gonna have to i don't know maybe do videos in this format where i get like four genkais or just get one or two new genkais to show in the video and then like i don't know you guys tell me what you want to see yeah matter of fact you guys just tell me what you want to see from me on this game because back in the day this is what we used to do like basically oh wait 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 wait, wait. let's go ahead and go into the ghost karashi oh man they really should have given you a, a motorcycle to use right passively if you will but yeah back in the day when i was covering videos uh, or content on this game this is basically all we use you know and by that i mean is that we went ahead and did videos and we showcased the new bloodlines and stuff so bankai akuma uh do you want to fight let's click yes what the hell is bankai akuma who is this person all right that man's doing pretty cool attacks all right kid all right uh, hold on kid hold on hold on hold on brother damn hold on get hit my chains bro did i just miss the pillar move yeah i missed the freaking pillar move dude all right you know what kid you summon my motorcycle you summoned it now get hit by it please Please get hit by it. I'm, I'm going to miss it. <laughs> there we go. I hit him. So, guys, this uh this mode actually does a lot of damage. Or, well, I should say this bloodline. All right. Look at this move right here. We're not really doing that much damage right now, but our other moves. Yeah, know, yeah we're doing a really good amount of damage, actually. All right. Let's use our Q spec. Okay. We didn't go next to him for some reason, but holy crap. Dude, our M1s do so much damage. You guys would know if you watched the last video, I was struggling with bosses, even though we managed to get it done because, well, basically, we weren't doing much damage at all. So I'm gonna get out of this mode. At least I'm gonna try to. Let's see if I can do it. Oh my god, this guy is just on me, boy. Get off of me. All right, look. I'm gonna try to use this to get away from him. <laughs> Cause I want to use the Jaramaya spec or whatever the heck it's called. I'm probably saying it wrong. All right, here we go. Cool. So we're gonna equip all our moves so we can become an official Toad Sage or well, kind of sort of Toad Sage, whatever. All right, here we go. Form one, bro. They gotta add more forms because I feel like they're gonna do it. Cause they gave this. This is the only one, mind you, that has like this transformation thing. But this is so sick, bro. Yo, the mode, the mode is so... Yo, look how much damage, bro. Look how much damage we do with our M1 on this freaking guy. Dude, the M1 on this thing is busted against bosses, boys. You guys are seeing this, right? Yeah, this is just busted. All right, so let's go ahead and use our B key. That's the hair the hair grab that we just used there. We're going to use the N key. We missed that one. We're going to use our Toad. Toad, we're sank on him. Mode spec, mode spec, block. Mode spec. Hello, block and mode spec. There you go. Come on, Vex. There we go. Rasengan, baby. All right, now we're going to heal up. Oh, yo, we got to be careful. We're about to die. I'm doing a lot of damage to him, but I am literally about to die, guys. No, 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 no. Damn, he interrupted my juicy there. Oh, my God. Yo, this guy's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. He's going to kill me. Q spec, Q spec. Rasengan. Get away from me, kid. All right, let's block, and then we're going to heal up. Oh my god. Thankfully, he gave me enough time to use a potion, so we're good now. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and just use my toad. Rasengan, baby! I mean, I'm gonna keep it a stack with you guys. The best thing to do is really to use your M1 in this, uh, in this mode, because you just do so much damage. Yo, I'm getting clapped, though, right now, guys. Alright, I'm gonna use... All right, dude, I keep trying to use my freaking stun pillar thing, but it's not working at all for me. All right, get away from me, dude. I'm gonna heal up. And then, Rasengan! <laughs> I feel like I'm using that, but I'm not really doing damage for some reason. All right, I'm gonna just gonna, I'm gonna M1 him to death. Like, I really am. That's the only way. We seem to do a lot more damage M1ing anyways. Let's try to do the hair grab. Bring him to us. Follow this up with another M1 spam. And you know what? I'm going to kill him off in style with the poison, poison, poison. I don't have enough chi. All right, whatever. Just M1, M1 spam him to death. There you go. He's dead. All right, mission completed. Not bad. You know, I gained, I think, overall, like six to seven levels out of the Jara. I'm going to call it Jara. For some reason, I'm passively gaining XP. Oh, no, I just stopped right now. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think about 
the stuff that I showed you. Which one was your favorite bloodline? I thought, I thought excuse me, Ghost Karashi was going to be the most powerful one against a boss, but um, I don't know. It seemed to me like the, the Toad Sage one was better. But yeah, guys, I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Thanks so much for watching. Much love.